a little longer than a few minutes later. I'm trying to fill that 4,500 PSI scuba tank with a tiny little shoebox compressor. You're going to be here for three years. This gives me an idea. Ready to form Voltron. Activate interlock. Dynatherms connected. Infracells up. Mega thrusters are go. Let's go, Voltron Force! It's the hold music. Hold music. Form feet and legs. Form arms and body. And I'll form the head. It's the hold music. Hold music. Get these off of me. Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Have you ever tried to fill a giant scuba tank with a small shoebox compressor? It's not the best idea, but what if we had five compressors? Well, today I've got a little special treat up my sleeve. Actually, it's in my pocket. The Air Shootist Unholy Double Cross. All right, what you got going on over here? All right, so this is two cross fittings. These are rated for 6,200 PSI, okay? Uh, I have them joined with a union there, and then I have five one-way valve paintball fill nipples. Now, there is a little issue here. These are hollow inside, so the paintball, uh, little piston inside the paintball fill nipples, if I directly pressurize one of these, it'll blow out and go into there somewhere. So what I'm going to do first is we're going to pressurize from this with a scuba tank, and this one does not have the piston in there. So we're going to pressurize all these and I have leak tested this. And then we're going to hook five compressors up to this one union and push air this way into that scuba tank and do a little testing to see how long it takes. Is it faster than one compressor? Math tells me that it should be, but we're going to find out today on the channel. Breath. 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 All right, I gotta be honest with you, science enthusiasts. We filmed an entire video at the shed, me and Eric, and we were plagued with problems. I was constantly popping the fuse, so that was one thing. And just like that, I blew the fuse. Dang it. And then also, I was having problems with the unholy cross with the non-captive pistons I used in the paintball fill nipples, so they were pushing into there at times. Yep. I blew those pistons inside, so <sighs> I'm going to have to figure out some alternate science here. So every time we had a problem, it was just taking forever, and it didn't make for very good content, but you guys demand good content. So I am now in front of my garage. I've got three extension cords running from various spots in the house. I hope I won't blow a fuse this time. Tank's at 3,000 PSI, and we're going to go ahead and see how this works with five compressors on. And there is the setup. Of course, we've got the big tuxing filter. I did install a one-way on it. That's going to be M10 thread. And then for the unholy double cross, I've upgraded it by installing captive piston one-way valve fill nipples on there. So just did a little bit of an upgrade and that way the pistons will not blow into the unit and get lost if we have any trouble here. And then we've got the starting lineup. So we've got the two auto A3. That thing has been the goat. I have pounded on that for years and it probably needs a maintenance or a rebuild. So I hope it makes it through this. We've got the small boy Vivor. We've got the big boy Vivor, which has been an absolute workhorse in the shed. My favorite, the Orc Air Thunder. And then probably tied for favorite or second favorite is the Orc Air Digital Compressor. 
So I'll leave links for all of these. I've got the extension cords run from various fuses in the house so I don't continually blow fuses and hopefully I can get this video in one take here. So we will see if these can fill a tank, a big tank, quickly or not for science. Let's get this party started. <laughs> All right, they're all running. And now we're gonna see how long it takes to fill that up. Wow, the pressure is coming up pretty good in that. Already up to a thousand PSI. A few moments later. Little problem with the A3. All right, I started my clock at 5.23, so we're going to see how long this takes. I knew that the 2A Auto A3 needed some work. I shouldn't have done this test without doing a little bit of maintenance to it. So we're already at... 3,000 PSI to match the pressure in the tank. And look at that, we've already got two, 300 PSI in a matter of minutes. All right, the A3, it needs a rebuild, so it's out. All right, that's where we ended up, a little over 3,000 PSI, like maybe 3,250 or so. All right, guys, so the 2 Auto A3 has been a great compressor, but it just gave up the ghost. I know it needs a little bit of maintenance, and it's almost three years old, and I've been pounding on it more than anybody ever has on one of those, probably. So we're going to replace it with my older Orc Air Thunder, which also has been taking a pounding. So I hope that one doesn't need maintenance, but the rest should be good. So let's continue on with the test. Got about 32.50 in the tank. Make sure all the bleeders are closed. All right, that's a lot better. All right, we're already up to 3K in all of the machines. So this is pretty good, and I think this is going to work. And we're starting with the tank at 32, and it is 531. So we'll go ahead and see how long this takes. And maybe we could get it up to about 4. Ideally, I'd like to fill it up to 4,500, but that's going to be a bit of a tall order. And I hope I don't blow the fuse, but so far, so good. A few moments later. Have you ever heard such a harmony? I mean, look at these things. We got uh, maybe 3,700 PSI, it looks like, on most of these. The gauges are more or less pretty good, but they're going to be a little off each, probably. And we've got about 3,650 in the tank. And that was about seven minutes. So not doing too bad. A few moments later. All right, so these have been running now for about 17 minutes. So it's getting close to 20 minutes, which is the recommended. Oh, and just as that happened, something blew. Looks like we lost a burst disc, but we're right up, we're right at 4,500 PSI. So that would explain why we lost the burst disc. So instead of, instead of 20 minutes for 200 PSI in 18 minutes, we went from 3,200 to 4,500, which is pretty crazy. So I will have to replace the burst disc in that one, but uh, I think that gauge is a little under, so reads a little under, so that probably explains why the burst disc blew, but 
with the Voltron compressor here, it makes filling a 4,500 PSI scuba tank possible with shoebox compressors. So that's your science lesson for the day. And then let's dump these. Ooh, a lot of condensation in there. So I will drop links in the description and comments for you guys for the big filter, which you're going to want to use, and all the parts you need to construct one of these bad boys. So hopefully this was at least entertaining and somewhat educational for you guys. Again, don't try this at home unless you're, you know, somewhat experienced with high pressure pneumatics. And speaking of high pressure pneumatics, head on over to www.myhighpressureair.com for all your air gun needs. Thank you guys for tuning in. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.